Oh my god, be fun. <laughs> 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 there you go. That'll make this the intro. Is... Give, give, give us a sense of what you do and, and why is this bubbling in the news today? What, what's going on with food and serving food to kids in, in schools? Well, you know, 2010, there was a law passed, the Healthy Hunger Kids Free Act, and that essentially revamped school nutrition standards. And there was a big coalition of people came, coming together to say, we need to do better for our kids, and we have to make sure that because of this obesity crisis that we have in our country, you know, we got to make sure that the food that we're serving at our ki- to our kids is actually healthy. Uh, get away from the candy and pizza and get to something, get to, you know, more whole grains and more vegetables and, and, and figure out how to teach kids how to you know, eat better. The U.S. Congress introduced a bill a couple, you know, a couple weeks ago that, um, which is tied to an appropriations bill. So it's kind of an unusual process um, that would essentially gut the nutrition standards that were created in 2010. But essentially what this bill will do um, it would create a one-year waiver for schools that can declare that they're losing money for a period of six months, that they don't have to follow the standards for food as determined by the 2010 law. What can they do that they wouldn't have, wouldn't, wouldn't be able to do if they didn't get the waiver? Like, what could they serve? I'm just trying to get the sense right. of, like, is it three... Mm-hmm. Apples, and now it's one apple. Like, mm-hmm. what? What is it? Right. Well, prior to, I mean, prior to these new nutrition standards, you were seeing few. You weren't seeing a lot of fruits and vegetables. You were seeing a lot of pizza being served. You were seeing a lot of nachos being served. And because of the new nutrition standards, those are all have been, you know, phased out. And you're seeing more fruits and vegetables. And theoretically, that could disappear. People are not trying to repeal. They're just saying, in order to implement, is there a valid argument that Their they argument say, is flexibility. I have a, that, that they give, give my district a year to figure this out? There already is flexibility. Well, Isn't the USDA making some changes yeah. when it's becoming well, too onerous? And, so, and you said earlier, was it 90% of schools are implementing these right. with no problem? So it's like a band-aid for no problem. There is a certain reality of how do you define flexibility. And if you define flexibility of looking at where the challenges are in school food and figuring out targeted ways to help school districts, the USDA is doing that. They just came out with a waiver you know, to allow you know, flexibility on the whole grains issue. Right. They allowed one on the um, protein issue. I mean, there really are actually more than anything that I remember in the past, but they are bending over backwards listening to stakeholders and trying to figure out how implementation can really go better. When you say flexibility frequently in the political setting, flexibility is a code word for something else. And in this term, it means flexibility is let's get rid of these standards. In the actual arguments in the House, somebody asked the sponsor of the bill, is there language to, you know, to repeal these standards in this bill? And there was laughter in the House, and the, the answer was not in this bill.